everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Today we are doing just a super quick but super awesome sauce or dressing or dip, however you want to use it, and it is a hemp seed dill dip. I freaking love dill, I can have it in everything, and hemp seeds are high in protein and high in fiber and high in omegas, and it is just so creamy and wonderful and easy to whip up. So here is how you make the dip. Okay, so this is a super quick one. So in your Vitamix or blender, add one cup of hemp hearts, half a cup of plant-based milk, I used my homemade oat milk, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two to three tablespoons of lemon juice, I used all three tablespoons, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, black pepper and sea salt to taste, and a quarter cup of fresh or frozen dill. My dill was actually fresh out of a garden and I put it in the freezer so it lasted longer. And then you just wanna blend that until nice and creamy and you wanna give it a taste and you can adjust the flavorings from there. You can also adjust the thickness by adding a bit of water to make it a little bit runnier for salad dressings or you can reduce the amount of plant-based milk if you want it a little thicker for a dip. But I just love how creamy this dip is and how easy it is to whip up. And now before I jump off, I'm gonna answer some questions. So I was tagged by the Flexi Vegan to answer some questions. So here we go. Okay, so question number one, when slash why did you go vegan? Okay, so I have a whole long video on this where I really go in depth and explain why I went vegan. So if you want the long answer, head to this video and check it out. Short answer is I first went vegan for health reasons. I'm just allergic to the world and just wanted to get better digestion. And then I found out about the animal cruelty aspect and the environmental aspect. And then that really solidified my decision and best decision I've ever made will never go back. Number two, what or who inspired you to go vegan? Oh, okay. So moving to Vancouver, um, I had ended up having a lot of vegetarian friends or seeing a lot more vegan options, vegan meals. And it was actually my massage therapist, Jen, who inspired me to go vegan. She told me about watching the documentary Earthlings. And she said, if you can watch Earthlings and still want to eat animal products, you have no soul. And I was like, oh, that's really harsh. And then I watched it and then I realized what she meant. So she was my number one influence. And my number two influence was actually my husband, Chris, who went vegan after me, but who started doing the research and reading the articles and kind of diving deeper into everything before I did. So he started doing that and then I started reading more and watching more and then I went vegan. So thank you, Jen and Chris. Number three, favorite vegan documentary. There's a lot out there. I have two. The first one was Earthlings, and then the second one was Game Changers. Watch both. They're amazing. Number four, is anyone in your family vegan? My husband. Number f Oh, it jumps to six. Where did five go? So we'll go to six. Do you know any vegans in real life? Yes, so my husband, I have a lot of friends that are vegan. There's a big vegan community in Vancouver and it's just such a wonderful, easy place to be vegan. Number seven, oh, favorite vegan dish. Oh, you can't do that to me. <laughs> There's too many to choose from. Well, I think I'm gonna go with the chickpea omelet because I discovered chickpea flour a year or so ago and it's just become an absolute staple in my life. I was, the eggs was the last thing for me to, no actually meat was the last thing to drop for me but eggs was a big one. I was really worried that I would miss eggs and then as soon as I discovered chickpea flour omelets I was like game changer, this is amazing, I have it all the time. Number eight, how do you react to interactions with meat eaters? Either them being rude, making ignorant or false claims, or having general questions. Well, I mean, I was a meat eater for a very long time, so I just respond with openness and curiosity and like to have conversations about it. And, 
you know, if they're being rude to me about my choices, then that's their problem and I try to respond with con kindness and tell them about, you know, my choices and why they might want to make the same choice. But I mean, everybody has their own journey and everybody has their own choices and fears and everything. So just being open and kind and having a conversation about it is the best way to go, I think. And number nine, favorite vegan YouTubers. Okay, so two of my favorite vegan YouTubers right now are the two that I'm gonna tag. So, plant-based dads, you had to have known I was coming at ya. And Marina Magnelli, they both have super fun energies, love their videos, they're fun to watch, but you gain a lot of knowledge from each of them. So those are my two favorite YouTubers right now and the two that I am tagging for this little tag challenge. You're it. <laughs> And number 10, oh, there's more. I thought there was just 10. So 10, we have, is there anything food or anything else that being a vegan introduced you to, which you haven't heard of or tried before? Yeah, so chickpea flour was a big one. Nutritional yeast was a big one. I had never had it before I was vegan, and now it's like a staple that I have every single day. Um, I would say hemp hearts for protein would be something I never had. There's so much. When you go outside your kind of regular bubble and you start looking at different cuisines and different fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, you can find so much more as a vegan, I find. Number 11, where do you buy your groceries? Okay, so I am also trying to be zero waste, package free, doing all of that. So there's two stores in Vancouver that I love to shop at. So that's the Soap Dispensary and Kitchen Staples, as well as, as Nada. And those are two package-free grocery stores that have a lot of vegan options. And then I've got some, like I go to Whole Foods, I go to Stong's, which is local in Vancouver, I believe, in BC. And then there's also Larry's Market, which is a vegetarian grocer in North Van. So I kind of like pick and choose, but the two package-free stores are my absolute go-tos. And number 12, do you miss anything from the time you weren't vegan? No. <laughs> so there we have it. Thank you again for watching another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like this video, do all the things, and cheers to living free. 